the helicopter turn stands as a crucial skill that every diver should strive to master. This maneuver is known for its efficiency, empowering divers to rotate their bodies on a precise axis without any forward or backward movement, all while maintaining an optimal trim. Originating from the ingenuity of cave divers, the helicopter turn was initially developed to address the unique challenges of navigating within confined underwater spaces. In such cramped environments, in order to turn around, traditional circular swimming patterns were impossible due to the limited space available. Consequently, cave divers pioneered this technique as a means to swiftly reorient themselves without compromising their position or safety. Today, the helicopter turn has transcended its cave diving origins and has gained widespread adoption among experienced divers for several compelling reasons. Firstly, it enhances the efficiency of changing direction underwater while ensuring that the diver remains perfectly balanced and streamlined. This attribute is particularly valuable when exploring underwater environments as it allows scuba divers to conserve energy and minimize disturbances to delicate ecosystems. Furthermore, the helicopter turn equips divers with a vital tool in handling emergency situations involving their dive buddy. Whether faced with an out-of-air scenario or any other unforeseen emergency, the ability to execute a swift and precise turn can make a life-saving difference. The helicopter turn can be analyzed as consisting of two separate movements. Depending on the direction of your turn, one leg engages in pushing the water using the bottom side of the blade, while the other leg employs the upper side of your fin blade to pull. You may quickly notice that this approach involves a synchronized fusion of two distinct finning techniques. It's important to closely observe the slowed down footage as it reveals the diver's right leg, executing a motion similar to a frog kick, while the left leg performs a back kick. Note that the direction of your turn will consistently be in the opposite direction of the leg that is responsible for pushing. To alter the direction of your turn, all you need to do is switch the rolls of your legs. In this case, the left leg takes on the pushing roll while the right leg assumes the pulling roll. The most effective approach to mastering this technique is to isolate your legs and focus on practicing with one at a time. Begin with the pushing motion as it is typically more manageable and familiar to most divers. Ensure that you can execute this maneuver proficiently with both of your legs, allowing you to complete a 360-degree turn in both directions using only the pushing motion. If you encounter difficulties, it indicates that you should first hone your skills in the frog kick. Once you have achieved mastery in the pushing technique, proceed to the next step by isolating each leg and practicing the pulling motion similar to the previous exercise. As mentioned earlier, to excel in this aspect, it is crucial to invest sufficient time in learning the proper execution of the back kick. Once you can confidently perform this, only then you should start bringing these two motions together. Keep in mind that like in all aspects of scuba diving, proper weighting and buoyancy control are essential for success. Thanks for watching and hope you learned something. Consider subscribing to Flow State Divers to become part of the community of conscious divers and to get notified on our upcoming content.